What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and uh, today we're going to talk about spots where you can keep a gun in your vehicle in the state of South Carolina and it can be loaded with one in the chamber ready to go. Welcome back everybody and like I said we're going to talk about uh, where you can keep a loaded gun, magazine in it, cylinder in it, round in the chamber, ready to go, loaded up, ready to go, where you can keep that gun in your vehicle for the state of South Carolina. Okay, so if you have a, another state's permit but South Carolina recognizes that state for reciprocity, these spots will also apply to you as well too. Now, if you don't have a permit at all, there are spots where you can have it in your vehicle without a permit. So yes, you do not have to have a permit to have it in some of these spots. Uh, we did do a previous video. Uh, I wanted to refilm this to kind of update it, to clarify a few things because everything was just kind of jumbled in there together. Uh, so we're doing an update to that and the other video uh, is probably gonna be removed, uh, but I'm gonna step out of the way. And as you can see here, you have three spots with or without a CWP. You have five spots with a CWP. So these bottom two right here are only going to apply once you get your CWP or if you have another state's permit that is recognized by our state, okay? So if you have another state's permit and South Carolina recognizes that state's permit, these also apply to you too, okay? But now listen, this is for South Carolina. North Carolina is gonna be different. Georgia is going to be different. Tennessee, Mississippi, Texas, New York, California, Colorado, Nevada, Arizona. Every state is going to be different and it is your responsibility to know that. You're not gonna be able to play a dumb card and get away with it, okay? So, with or without a CWP. So let's just go without a CWP. Without a CWP, luggage compartment in a container with an integral fastener. What that means is, is your container has to latch, snap, or zip completely shut. That's what the integral fastener means. So if you have just a handgun in a soft zip-up case, as long as it zips shut or snaps or latches, that is a container with an integral fastener. Okay? Or if you've bought a Glock, and Glocks have the little latches so you can open the case, you can use that as a container. Those are integral fasteners. Let's say you have a Smith & Wesson and you bought it and it's just in a cardboard box. All right, they put some of their handguns in a cardboard box. That is not a container with an integral fastener. Your luggage compartment is dictated by your vehicle. Car will be a trunk, a station wagon, SUV, crossover, a van, some, anything like that will be the cargo area all the way in the back. If you have a truck, it'll be dictated by the cab of your truck. The bed is not considered, it is considered a luggage compartment, but don't think that's where you have to put it, okay? If you have a single cab vehicle behind the seat, that is the luggage compartment. Not under the seat, okay? Not under the seat, behind the seat. If it is a single cab vehicle, it is behind the seat, not under the seat. You don't get that till you get your permit. If you have an extended cab or a crew cab, under the back seat or behind it, depending on which way it folds up or down. All right, some vehicles, the seat folds up. That's the luggage compartment. Some vehicles, the seat folds down. That's the luggage compartment. All right, under the driver's seat 
Under the driver's seat is only when you get your permit. So the furthest spot back is the luggage compartment. All right, the back seat for a vehicle is not the luggage compartment or the back seat for a car. If your car has a trunk, the back seat's not the luggage compartment. If it's got a cargo area all the way in the back, like an SUV or crossover or something, that is not the luggage compartment. It has to be in the luggage compartment of the vehicle. All right, if you want to talk more about that, some clarity, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to talk about it with you. Glove box or console. So you can put a loaded gun without a CWP in your glove box or your console. Now console, some of you might call it an armrest. Same thing, little thing right in the middle. All right, the reason these two, you don't have to put it in a container is your glove box or your console has to latch shut, not lock. None of these have to lock. Your container does not have to lock. It's got to latch, snap, or zip shut, integral fastener. It does not have to lock, all right? Glove box has to latch shut. You gotta pull or push a lever or button to open it up. Console slash armrest, whatever you wanna call it, you gotta pull or push a lever to open it up, okay? What I'm talking about, in my truck at the front part of the console, there's a little door that slides open, all right, and closes. I can put stuff down in there. I got charging ports and things like that, but it does not latch. I cannot put my gun down in there. It has to latch or snap shut. Now I've had some people reach out and ask. I know there's some SUVs and some vehicles out there that have this little compartment that you've got to push a button to open it up and it like slides open. The radio face might slide down or something slides up above. All right, that's still part of the console. All right, you, as long as you have to push a button, all right, not like push the thing and it open up. All right, if you have to push a button or pull a lever to get that, you can use that. It's got to latch. It must latch, okay? That These three are without. So without a CWP, these three are all you get. Nothing else. It's just these three. Once you get your permit, it's all five. So I can have it in these, or I can have it in a dry, under the driver's seat in a container with an integral fastener. Latch, snap, or zip shut. The container has to latch, snap, or zip shut. Now, if you have a vehicle that has a little drawer under the driver's seat that you open up, that does not count unless you have to pull a latch or push a button to open that drawer. It has to latch, snap, or zip shut. If that drawer under your driver's seat does not do that, then you have to put it in a container with an integral fastener or on your person. That means concealed on your person. Ankle, waist, pocket, wherever. Concealed on your person has to be on your person. Now for my ladies, if you keep it in a pocketbook and you happen to jump in your car and sit that pocketbook in the passenger seat, that is still considered on your person because that goes on your person when you get out of the vehicle. Or ladies or gentlemen, if you have a backpack or if you're wearing a fanny pack, you pop it off, throw it in the passenger seat, that is considered on your person when you get out of the vehicle, that will be okay. Now, my recommendation, without a permit, glove box or console. Why do I want it in the luggage compartment in a box? Or I should say container with an integral fastener. Do you think that bad guy is going to give you time to put your car in park, get out of your vehicle, go back to your luggage compartment, open up your container, get your gun out? No. Glove box or console are easily, are easily accessible. Why not put it there? My console's right there. Open it up, bam. Now, as you notice, I don't have anything about a magnet under the dash or a holster under the steering column or a holster in between the seat and the console. This is all you get. This is it. Nowhere else. If you put it somewhere else, that falls under improper carry. Now, if your neighbor is a cop and he says, well, no, you can have it wherever you get your permit. I'm sorry, that is wrong. That is wrong. Wait, wait, no, hang on, hang on, no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me make this clear. If it is not here, you are wrong and you can go to jail under improper carry. 
This is it, folks. This is all you get. Now, I will say, there are veteran cops out there that will give some leeway on this. But that's not all of them. This is all you get. Anywhere else, you're on your own. All right? Again, don't fuss at me, South Carolina Law Enforcement Division. Or really, you need to probably fuss at your congressman, senate, some of the lawmakers. They're the ones that put this stuff in place. This is it. If you want the maggot under the dash, holster under the steering column, whatever. Cubby hole down in the door, go for it. But if a cop knows the law and is not going to give any leeway on this, you can go to jail. You can be arrested. This is all you get. All right? I'm, I get a little frustrated because people want to argue with me about this. This is all you get. If you don't believe me, call South Carolina Law Enforcement Division. Who do you think gave me the information? So, this is it. This is all you get. Oh, wait. No, I'm going to repeat it again. Yes. We'll make sure you understand. This is it. It's all you get. Do I wish we could have more? Yes. If you want it more, go put it more. But this is it. Now, one thing I will say about Glow Boxer Console. If you want to put one of those magnets or a holster in your Glow Boxer Console and you have room, then yes, you can do that. Because technically in the glove box of console, it don't have to be in anything at all. You can take your gun, mag in it, round in the chamber, and go throw it in your console. But how many of us have an empty console or empty glove box? I know I don't. Mine's slap full of junk. So I recommend just a cheap holster, a cheap pocket holster. Something to cover that trigger so if you have to slam on brakes or heaven forbid in a car accident, it can't get jostled around and something get in on that trigger. All right, I know the chances of that are probably pretty slim, but you know what? I'm not taking that chance. This is it. The other thing about these two, glove box or console, wherever you're going to keep your gun, don't keep your registration and your insurance in that same spot. Because if it's not on my hip, it's in my console. And yes, I have one of those little magnets mounted in my console, but it's in my console. The console latches. I have to push a lever to open it up. So you can do that, that's fine. But my insurance and my registration is clipped up on my visor so I don't have to go anywhere in any one of these spots because if I'm pulled over, I have to let law enforcement know. I don't have to wait for them. I, all right, it is, law, it is by law you have to let them know immediately. All right, they don't, you don't have to wait for them to get, well, I mean, immediately. So what I'm talking about is like Georgia. Georgia, from my understanding, you don't have to tell them anything unless they specifically ask you if there's any weapons or guns or stuff like that in the vehicle. But I'll be honest, I don't care what state I'm in. If I got a gun on me or in the vehicle, I'm letting the cops know if I get pulled over. Just make it, make your life easier. Make your life easier, let them know. Tell them where it's at. Keep your, of course, keep your hands where they can see them. Don't start reaching for anything. Let them get up to the window, all right? I'm not saying you gotta hang your hands out the window like this, okay? Let them get up to your window, Mr. and Miss Officer, just so you know. I'm a CWP holder, I have a gun in the vehicle, this is where it's at. Mr. and Miss Officer, I'm a CWP holder, I've got a loaded gun in the vehicle, this is where it's at. You be cool with them, they'll be cool with you, you won't have any issues. But this is it, folks. So if you don't have a permit, it's these three spots. If you have our state's permit, or if you have a permit recognized by another from another state that is recognized here in South Carolina, this is all you get. This probably might be a little different than your state. So here you go. This is it right here. It's all you get. So I hope this kind of clarifies things. I know the last one was confusing. Uh, I had some people reaching out. That's why I wanted to uh, redo this so we can break it up and you can kind of see. Top three are without a CWP. All five are with a CWP. So if you don't have a permit, this is all you get. If you have a permit, this is all you get. Not the little mount up on the ceiling of the vehicle, okay? This is it. I hope this helps. If you're still confused after this, always feel free to reach out to us. Our website, contact information, all our social media stuff will be linked in below. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for everybody that has subscribed and supports and follows us. It is much, much appreciated. Please share and comment on other things that you would like to see. 
And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range. <laughs>